Hey guys, welcome to today's video. Today, we're about to bust out a quick look with this cute, adorable, precious little ColourPop quad called an Emerald Away Pressed Powder Palette. This is part of their Stay Jewel quad collection. You know, one of their like 10 dozen quad collections <laughs> that they came out with. Um, but I'm making my... Ah! But I bought a whole bunch of ColourPop quads recently. I'm making my way through them. Green is a little intimidating for me. I'm not gonna lie. Let me just go ahead and start swatching these guys while I'm chatting. So I'm almost like trying to get the green out of the way at this point. Not because, I mean, I think these colors are gorgeous. I don't have anything against the color green. I just feel like, please excuse my little cat claw there. Oh, wow. Very nice. I just feel like green for me is a little tricky to operate. I have like cooler undertones in my skin and I kind of just generally prefer cooler undertones and greens can sometimes go the other way and sometimes green can look like you got punched in the face. This one is kind of along the, those lines. This one has like a gold kind of undertone but these other three look like, especially this one, looks a little like it leans blue, so it might work out and it might be completely fine. It probably will be completely fine, really. Green just makes me nervous, but I just was very drawn to the sort of monochromaticness of these quads, because it, it kind of simplifies it for you. You know, you're kind of like, what color do I wanna, wanna wear today? Do I wanna do green? Do I wanna do purple, blue? So anyways, I just feel like these quads are like designed and set up so well, these Stay Jewel ones especially, but ColourPop has really been killing the quad game just in general, so we appreciate that about them and for them. You go ColourPop. So I'm just gonna start with the little light matte shade down in the bottom corner on just a sort of regular fluffy blending brush and let's get to work. ColourPop shadow quality, generally very, very good. Green, never known for being the easiest shade to operate, you know, but we're just, we're just gonna see how it goes. Very cute. The tone of the green is working. The tone of the green, it's not giving me like, punched in the face vibes, maybe a little bit of like eye fungus <laughs> vibes, and maybe my blush wasn't quite the right choice for it. But we, we're, we're where we are and we just gotta keep going because I gotta go to work soon, so. All right, that'll work. Okay, now I'm gonna take a more precise brush and dip into the deeper one, which is really like a teal. Like it definitely is a teal that leans more green, but it's kind of just teal and I'm kind of just loving it. Okay, I think that's good. Just really pretty colors, really pretty tones of green that I'm not hating, which is great. As is kind of standard with ColourPop, they're very pigmented shadows that do blend well, but they do require blending. Hopefully that makes sense. Like they do blend and will blend, but you gotta be careful not to use too much. So you wanna do like a little bit, blend it out, Add a little more, blend it out. I did a little too much over here and had a hard time getting that to kind of blend the way that I wanted it to. But again, we're working with like green pigments. So we have to be grateful that they blend like at all or that the colors are still pretty. So anyways, it's all working. It's all like on par for ColourPop. Just fair warning that they are pretty pigmented. So it's easy to overdo it. 
and they do require blending. They don't get patchy or anything, just as long as you blend them well enough. And that's, yeah, that's really the key, is just make sure you blend them enough. Hmm, I was gonna do like a halo eye type of thing with this one, but I kind of wanna more do more of this one than this one. I'm not loving this particular shade as much, but I kind of always go with the same like eyeshadow format. I'm gonna have to switch it up for some of these other quads so as not to bore you guys. But I think we're just gonna, we're gonna take the light shimmer over most of the lid. Really cute. This one has like a kind of mintiness to it that I think is really cool. So now I'm just going to use the other side of my flat brush and take that deeper green shimmer and put it on the outer corner and sort of blend those two together. definitely not my favorite that that deeper shimmer shade it's just a little funky little wonky doesn't totally vibe with the other three that are in here I think they probably wanted to include something that's a little more yellow toned so that one's just a little bit of an oddball out but I still think it, it's working fine and all of the other colors are super pretty and all of the shadows are really nice and easy to use so anyways let me finish up and I'll be right back I finally found the perfect eye look to use with this liquid lipstick. I think it's working really well, actually. Anyways, I've been wanting to use this one for a while. It's my little NYX lingerie, whatever, matte liquid lipstick, fantastic liquid lipstick. I'll be sure to link the video if you want to watch it. But here we are with the final completed look. Listen, my eyelashes were really trying it today, so if they look crazy, I apologize. <laughs> Actually, I don't care. I'm not sorry because it's life and it is what it is. Loving this look, very different for me. I like never wear green, but these tones I feel like are really working. They're like pretty neutral for green. And I do appreciate the kind of variety where it's like all green, but each of these shades kind of has its own different tone. Like the dark one is quite blue. It's like pretty much teal. The little light shimmer is like really minty. This one's a very kind of like mossy green. And then this one is sort of like a gold leaning type of green. So although it's just a whole quad of green, they're like a little bit all different, but then they all work really well together. I'm living. And listen, y'all, I am like the first one to call out ColourPop for doing some crazy ColourPop nonsense. I love to hate on ColourPop, but sometimes I just can't, you know? You just have to appreciate the like baseline of quality that you can expect from ColourPop. Anytime you're doing something with pigment colorful, those two words involved, you gotta get ready to like settle in and put some work into your blending. It's gonna take a little bit of time and a little bit of patience to get everything blended just right. But for being so colorful and so pigmented, they blend really well and they're really easy to work with. So for something this colorful, it takes me quite a bit of time, but I got it done relatively quickly with this quad just cause these shadows work so well. So like props to you ColourPop, you're really, ah! I've only tried two of the quads that I have from them, but I've got two more from this Stay Jewel collection, as well as literally like eight more from other quad collections that they have. I just really was particularly enthused by these guys. So I'll get around to the blue and the red one at some point, the green and the purple. So I already did a video with the Gata Agate. I will be sure to link that if you wanna watch it. Um, but the quads are working. The quads are working, you guys, and they're really simplifying my makeup for me. Let me know what you guys think about the look. Let me know what you guys think about ColourPop and their shadows and their quads and all of the things. Always love hearing from you. And I really hope that you enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. 
and I'll see you in my next video, okay? Okay, <laughs> bye.